Okay, hello, we are live right now with the traveling stall competition here with Andy and with Bob. Bernardo Bright, he just made his first landing. 60 meters of takeoff in takeoff and we are waiting for the landing distance. What do you think about this, Bob? Tell us. Well, we got really good here. Oh. We got, oh, I got my mic here. It's here. <laughs> We've got really good air this morning. It's really calm and it's quite cool. And uh, the air is 100% stable. And so, and, and the lighting is good. So it should be a good morning. Okay, we're in one city. So he's taking the long route round, uh, Bernardo. He's, he's <laughs> Bernardo is on his second landing try. He's on final right now. Let's see how he do it. That shot is very calm. Yes, well, it's like they said yesterday. The approach is so easy to get a good shot here because it's such a pretty place. Real stables. Slow down. And then mm -hmm. 24. Yeah. And a half. <laughs> This is exciting. This is pretty cool. Yeah. You're doing the real, you're doing the real, got the real deal going here. Hi, good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. Good. Here, our friend Tinti, enjoy the play. So, Tinti, what do you think about what are we doing here right now? Hello, good morning, everybody. Here we are in Patagonia Bush Pilot, enjoying this fantastic event of a stall competition in a wonderful place, a wonderful day. So I am very happy here. Thank you. Okay, so Bernardo. Okay. You can say. So Bernardo. total 183 meters. So that's takeoff and landing. There we go. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that, that plane's been yeah. a, a labor of love for Bernardo. Whenever I've come here, he's been working on it. Yeah. In fact, I think he said you're a Valentine's card. He's been, <laughs> he really loves that plane. How long has he had that plane? Or how long has he uh, built, since he built it? I believe four or three months, no, not more than that. Oh, he's yeah, got it. It's quite a new plane to the hangar. It's uh, This is last year champion of the category. It's Hector. Hector. I don't okay, hear it. What do, what do you hear about that? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tinti is leaving the floor <laughs> right now. That was Hector's first takeoff. You got out really well. Seba, recordá pedir el apagado de transponder en cada puesta en marcha. Sí, sí. Mucho red. <risa> Mira, el, el Warrior parece que tuviera una luz abajo como el tuyo. Vaya, en los santos. Sí. <risa> It's, it's like a completely different day from yesterday. <clears throat> With the, the, the wind yesterday was, was on and off. It was uh, much more challenging, I, I think, yesterday. Dusty and... Yeah, yesterday we had, what, 10 to 20 knot gusts directly across the runway. All, across. All, 90 all, degrees. 
90 degrees across yeah. and it started somewhere in the middle of the night i remember the windows yeah. in my house started the air started to blow in and i could hear everything uh, but that's, that's just typical construction here. Is <laughs> no, no, it's not no. that. He's on a very strong construction it, yeah. here. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's just a, it's, it's an interesting thing that in uh, Argentina and in the Andes that the wind can change any time. And to me, it was interesting. It came up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Normally, the atmosphere is calm and has exactly. less yeah. energy. But it blew in in the night, and then it stayed right through dawn and through the morning yeah. till what noon or something at yeah, least till yeah. noon this is patagonia and this is this is why you come place and i guess this is why you come here to to train and and to to get exactly. that experience it's great for training it's great 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 for training and weather is one of the most important thing you have to He's on approach. study as a pilot and hector is on his on, approach Hector's on final When you're nice to stay. Oh, Bernardo is gonna win this. A hundred and thirty two or thirty three, I believe. Let's see what the judge says, but I believe it's something like a hundred and thirty two or thirty three meters. So first take off seventy meters, a landing. You think 133, 132? Let's see what the judge says. That you can see right now the Bristol from Hector Pilot. He won last year. Oh, you're way off. 202 meters. 132. So by the moment, Bernardo is on the top of. Oh, that's total. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Reading the wrong numbers there. So 202 meters. 132 meters landing. We were talking just as we came in about uh, tire sizes and the effect on braking. So Bernardo's got tiny little wheels, tiny little tires. So I'm guessing his his uh, brakes are working a bit more efficiently. Would that be right? Or am I just talking through my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to work on the logic because big tires are heavy. It's, well, it's more complicated than that. It's more complicated he's, than that. He's got. Uh, Hector's got Behringer's on there, and they're pretty. They've got a pretty good brake. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. A very high pressure brake fluid. And okay. A, a really well developed. Right. Caliper. So here's the second takeoff. Nice takeoff from Hector. That gets out really well. That yeah. airplane. This plane has a huge flaps. Have you seen mm. those flaps? Yeah. huge oh wow and about the tires bernardo's planes came with a smallest tire yeah, i remember the, the, the tires the caliper that he has hasn't this the strong enough to break the side of the wheel that he has right now mm -hmm. so, so bernardo's a... plane is a plane that don't break ah, okay okay so much efficiently yeah so what's his plan? Uh, larger di diameter calipers or change I the pad he's material? I believe trying to put another caliper, yeah. two, two per wheel. Do you, do you look at much uh, material between pads and, and uh, brake pads and, and different... Uh, Composition of the brake yeah. pads? Yeah, we tried it a few times. On experimental planes, it's easy to try the new things. Yeah. You can see Rodrigo right now. Rodrigo is the parking guy of the stall event is helping us from a week and he is making a great job does he do deliveries because <laughs> my biggest hot legs i wouldn't mind some ice cream you need something <laughs> yeah. an ice cream some ice cream from the village <laughs> <laughs> So I've got a question in pretty much in two areas. Well, plane modification, there's loads of things I'd, I'm interested in about how you, what modifications you're allowed to do to the plane. Um, and within within safety limits, I'm guessing, because you know, you're up in the air and <laughs> if something goes wrong, there's no escape. Uh, but pilot, pilot skills, I mean, that's just practice or is, is there, you know, if you're a big fella, a little fella. You mentioned modifications to the plane. Yeah. So. 
the best modification you can do to the airplane, the best thing you can spend money on in the yeah. airplane is fuel in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> and that, is, that me, yeah. basically means practice for the pilot. Yeah. So I'm guessing that everybody here has spent quite a bit of time just just slowly practicing and working it yeah. at landing on the line. And yeah, yeah. He's, and he's now, doing it. Yep. And now we're on, on final. Hector is on final right now. Yep. <clears throat> With that okay, 1.3 a... miles crosswind. Oof. Good luck. Perfect. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> I believe 30, 40, 60, 70, 80. About 180 meters from Hector. Hector at this moment is losing his... <laughs> <laughs> He's placed from the last year. Bernardo yeah. still on the top of the list. So Let's see what the judge says. So why was that? Why was that longer? Because he bounced. Because he lost the actual friction between the ground and the that, that short well, distance. He there. Might have realized he was hot. Yeah. Or a little fast. And then when he, then when he tried to get down, he had so much energy that when he touched, he yeah. bounced. Or... Okay. Here goes number three. Roberto. Roberto Bravo. Whoa, Roberto was about <coughs> a little more than a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty. The judges are working through hundred and fifty-two, I believe, from here. 52, 51, 50. Oh. <laughs> we can see here the judges, Gustavo and Darío. And they say, you can see the turn right now. What do you think? Well, you can see there that the nose wheel plane is easier to break. <laughs> full stop, full stop, full stop, full stop. And stop. Okay, so that, that will be disqualified. Yeah. 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 I believe it's disqualified not for not break. Completely stop. Let's see what the judge says.
in the police. Here. Este. Vitus. Avísame si se escucha. Is in this one now? Okay, Robert is jump number two. Yeah. It's the first to turn off the engine on the rollout. Yeah. 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 I, I I watched that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here he goes. Jump number two. So it's interesting that these planes uh, are so slippery in appearance and you know they, they get very efficient, right? So they get the speed and it actually helps the climb rate. So they try to get the, in this design, to get the best of both worlds. They get, they get uh, an, an efficient airplane, an efficient bird in the sky, but at the same time, uh, then they are working to get out and get back in as quickly as they can. Yeah. As well. It may true. not look like your average bush plane, but it's uh, it's effective. It's kind of a new aviation. <coughs> Rotac engines. You can see from here that the distance between the elevator and the ground of the Bristol, the blue and gray mm -hmm. Bristol, I believe it's not more than 30 centimeters. Mm. 10 inch. Mm, about I 10 see. inch yeah the, the bushes that might be you know? <laughs> not the best <laughs> for sure there's another plane to the ground well <coughs> excuse me we were talking about ground clearance just so when you're taxiing through Taxing through the rush somewhere where you don't have a runway like this, oh, okay. you. I believe in your first attempt to land in the backcountry area with a plane with the elevator so close to the to the ground, you're gonna hurt the plane for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah see, the, <laughs> see how high the tail is on PK's plane over there, relative. Andy. Effective from this one. Okay. <laughs> you yeah. feel like a, boy, a rock star. Right? <laughs> okay. There okay. he is on short final. Short final for his second attempt. Even at the line. Let's do. Oh, smooth line then. Smooth touch. Cut his engine and he slid his wheels. He was all in. He's got his brakes locked. He slid her to a stop. What do you think? And he stopped his engine on purpose or what? something is going on with that hard braking? What do you think, Bob? He's oh, turning I, off. Oh, I think he turned it off. That thing is that has a very balanced carburetor and stuff in it. Alright. I don't think unless he's got the idle turned down so far that Perhaps too. So next is gonna be Carlos with the yellow and gray Bristol. Carlos Modusco. He was practicing yesterday late and that plane 
can take off really short. There he goes. Tail up. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, yeah, good. Less than 70 meters, I believe. Very slippery and he got a lot of lift. He's, yeah. he's really performing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I believe something strange is happening on that plane. in the Formula Student competition. I don't know if you're aware of what that is. It's where the students design and build a little race car. And uh, oh, the Formula. The Formula Student. And it was great. I mean, they, they had like, three different areas. One of them was endurance. And the university, we you know, we were we were pretty uh, underfunded. We had something like $6,000, $7,000 to build the whole car. The uh, the Graz team, the, the Austrian team, they had $100,000 to develop their engine. <laughs> you know, we were... But our guys just practiced. The thing we had was a test track close, and I used to get up in the morning, drive them to the track, and they'd were all day in. And we beat them on the endurance just because the stuff that broke, they could fix. And they just, it was a heavier car, but so reliable. And I think with that year, we finished 10th in the world. You know, this little tiny, tiny college from Wales. Oh. Yeah, and so practice, practice, practice is, <laughs> is the message. Here. Practice is, I believe, the clue for everything in life. Everything that you put a lot of hours in, you're gonna become better at that, every that, moment. That thing, whatever that is, that is whatever that exactly. is. Exactly. If you want to play the guitar, you need to put many, many hours playing the guitar. If you want to fly, it's the exactly same thing. Time. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> After flying, up, of course, never <laughs> during. <laughs> A long, very established final way out there. The air looks amazing. <laughs> you can see it on the birds flying there. The glide that that plane is making right now. We have an awesome air today. A little bit smoky, yeah. mind, from the fire yesterday. Yes. There is a huge fire near here, I believe 40 kilometers through the north. And you can see in the image, in the, in the pictures, the smoke. It's making us long final, it's more than long final. Almost to the line. Oh. Hey, is that our shortest so far? Yeah. Uh, floated over the line a bit, but when he touched, he was slow. And he's that plane can, stopped, fly, right? can fly slow, really. Yeah. yeah. And the ground wow. effect on that wing is awesome because it's super near to and, the ground. And you mentioned being having the wing low, and does yeah. that have a pertinent? It, what Kike just said is is accurate. That the wing that low and the flap that near the ground, you get a compressed, you get a you get a lot of ground. Uh, you get you get a little cushion there under the wing that slow at the ground. You can see it. Tip of the, the flap, how close is to the ground? 
Not good for bushes, for good. sure. <laughs> Ground effects. Where's that plane manufactured? Do you know? I really don't know where the Bristol is manufactured, but we can figure out. Hmm? Yeah, the two of them here. And where have they come from in the country? Both came from Buenos Aires. Oh, from Buenos Aires. From okay. Buenos Aires. Tails of Yo, baby, popped it off. He's, he's practiced. Yeah. Yep. He knew right when to ask it to fly and it popped right up. Czech Republic. Czech? Czech. Yeah. Okay. My friend's wife was from there when we went to spend New Year's. Uh, we went to like a, it's cold, 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 cold at the time. We went to a ski resort and there was a health spa run by uh, Russian nuns. Have you ever had a, a massage of a Russian nun? Never. It's brutal. I fell out. <laughs> I fell out of beating up. This sounds like a Welsh joke. <laughs> no, no, it was no. true. We were waiting. It was early in the morning and somebody had forgotten to unlock the door and they started arguing and I'm on the on the bed and they start massaging and they're arguing and the more she's arguing the harder she's pounding i was i was oh, <laughs> andy and his adventures <laughs> <laughs> okay now we can see the scores on the screen right now the best takeoff at the moment was 50.5 meters from carlos and his Bristol. 50.5 is the distance to beat right now. Oh, and we're, we're, we're beaming up to Starlink. That's interesting. Pablo is moving Starlink. Antenna right now. Set up two Starlinks this year. So easy. I really like it. Yeah. And, and very good performance. Exactly. We are transmitting by Starlink at this moment. I believe we are one of the, the few people that have Starlink yet in Argentina. Oh, really? Yes. Huh? It's, it's, not, it's not completely available here in Argentina. A friend from Chile bring that antenna and help us so we can make this live at this moment mm -hmm. so thank you very much alex for helping us with this with the starlink device thank you because with your help we can we are doing this we're doing this streaming and this live elon musk is, is listening in he texts you yeah i'm sure he maybe he will read the message that alien text to you <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be danger <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we can see Seke running with the antenna okay. yes <laughs> Please explain what what he already says. No, that's not this. <laughs> okay, we're midway in on the final, and part of that long final is just to, so you can calm down and get your get your nerves straight before you get near the ground. Long stabilized final. So if you can just get rid of all the energy right at the last moment at the line end of that long final looks pretty slow this time there he is Ooh. I believe we have a winner here 
There we go. So he landed at an angle. Is it you mark it to the furthest point forward for the tip of the wing? Well, no, the furthest tire. From the tire. Furthest tire. Yeah. Furthest tire forward. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm behind you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.